It is rare for a Turkish official to visit India and rarer still for the person to visit New Delhi in the midst of the Indian federal election. But that is exactly what happened last week. New Delhi hosted Turkey President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's senior advisor Ibrahim Kalin. Kalin met with India's national security advisor Ajit Doval and foreign secretary Vijay Gokhale. Kalin's visit to New Delhi came a few days after the United States decided to end Iran oil sanctions waiver for India, Turkey and six other countries. Today I'm announcing that we will no longer grant any exemptions. We're going to zero, going to zero across the board. The waiver officially ended on the 2nd of May, but Turkey wants to insulate its ties with Iran by exploring alternative payment mechanisms. We're looking at different ways. Uh, of course, we cannot uh, jeopardize our energy needs. We have to supply them from somewhere, and Iran is, uh, is an important trading partner for us. Uh, but also, we do not want to have a confrontation with the U.S. over this issue. So we've advised our U.S. colleagues uh, to extend the waiver uh, on Turkey in addition to other uh, countries, uh, they've said they will not. Uh, so we're looking at different options. The same, obviously, I believe goes through for India. Uh, so it's a common challenge uh, we have. As India mulls its options, Turkey remains defiant in the face of U.S. decision to end Iran oil waiver. So Turkey does not see itself going down to zero anytime in the immediate future? No, not at the moment. Not at the moment. In the past, India has dealt with Turkey's Hulk Bank and the German-based EIH Bank to route payments to Iran. India insists that it will only adhere to sanctions imposed by the United Nations, not unilateral sanctions by a country. Iran was the third largest source of crude oil for India in January 2018. But over the last few months, India has deliberately and progressively reduced the import of oil from Iran. Besides oil, another issue of interest to both India and Turkey is the S-400 missile defense system from Russia. The decision by India and Turkey to buy the weapon system from Russia has not gone down well with the US. Also, counter-terrorism cooperation was high on the agenda of Carlin's talks in New Delhi. For us, the attack that happened in New Zealand, where uh, 51 worshippers were killed brutally, is not any different from the one that took place in Colombo, Sri Lanka, uh, where uh, Christians were attacked. Uh, and uh, some were worshipping, some were uh, vacationing, but innocent people nevertheless uh, died in that uh, horrible, cowardly uh, series of attacks. And we condemn all. Uh, and what happened here, uh, obviously, which led to this current uh, uh, cycle of tension between India and Pakistan, we have also condemned that attack immediately, within an hour actually, because uh, we, we cannot tolerate that kind of uh, uh, attack or activity that claims civilian lives, that doesn't serve any purpose. Turkey looks forward to hosting the Indian Prime Minister later this year. West Asia Bureau, we on, world is one.